The only lifestyle you have uh, is every day coming to work and then after work straight away go back home. So we do not have like going to park, going to meet friends. It's boring uh, but it's quite fun because it's your own business. Passion that leads me to continue doing it every day. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Jyoti. I'm the cake slave for Singapore's finest cheesecake, Dirty Cheesecake. So we are located at One West Coast Drive, uh, unit number 0177. Dirty Cheesecake was actually founded in 2020 during the pandemic while I was still serving NS. It started as a home-based business because during NS, we have a two weeks stay home and a two weeks stay in camp policy. Baking is also my passion, so I actually started baking for my friends and family. So the feedback was good. Then they asked me to why not uh, try to do a business out of it. Our home-based business started in 2020, right? So then uh, when the orders hit, we have uh, not enough storage space because we are using only home fridge. So the baking pans from one, we increased to up to 30 pans. Then we also need uh, more space for storage, in the cake box as well as the cake boards. So we decided to open a shop. Then we found one in Katong Shopping Centre. So we started the Katong outlet in 2021 until 2022. Then we decided to move out to a cafe which is currently at One West Coast Drive. The only difference I would say is our cheesecakes are non-frozen. We do not use Philadelphia. We do not add sour cream. Ours is gluten-free. Our cream cheese to cream ratio is lesser so people will not feel jelak so when they taste our cheesecake right there is not too strong cheese smell i didn't attend any baking baking school so all these are self-taught and passion during the trending of burnt cheesecake right in 2020 i actually tried at home using a microwave but inside it's not creamy it's like more of like a moist texture but that's not the right texture we want uh. we want a more flowy creamy texture uh. so we try and error a lot of times uh. almost like six months uh. people did try the before and after they, they taste the difference they will like the, the one in the current one then slowly slowly we come up with those basic uh, common flavors which is oreo and risco then we want to try something adventurous so we go for light churros so light churros we experimented many times as well. In terms of the rose syrup and the lychee syrup, how much to put? First time we try, there's no taste at all. Then we added more, but still a bit different. So we added uh, rose petals into the rose layer of the lychee rose. We have to experiment. So I would say we spend quite a lot of time and effort to create new flavors. As a business owner, you need to think about admin work. And then if you're in an F&B line, right, you have to think about new menu. You need to make sure that every product that is going out every day is uh, consistent. Our only lifestyle is just coming to work, making sure all the orders are right, then going back home, settling all the admin works at night. Regrets uh, definitely. Uh, after NS, right, what I wanted to do was to continue my career that I had during secondary school. So during secondary school, I do have an F&B background. So I started as a part-time waiter in a restaurant. Then I actually fixed my career path there because the environment and the people there are quite comfortable uh, to work with. Then I went to NS, then COVID hit. So the passion of baking started more. The only regret I have is unable to progress my career from the previous workspace as well as uh, cannot continue study. Now I'm training a part-timer baker so I have time to go out for studies. I will still open because uh, I feel that people appreciate my products. It makes me more motivated to do better. I feel everyone should have a chance to try to start a business of their own. So if you never try, never know. That's what my first mindset and a fully committed uh, business model, right? So I cannot stop anymore because people is waiting for the item to be delivered to them. After that one complete, then more and more come in, then I cannot stop. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. So people try it for the first time, they like it, then they come back off. Very nice to feel that people appreciate it. I prefer now what I'm doing. I would say success to me is uh, when customers still come back to us for a birthday cake. Wow, they want super one. Because that means our product is good. They'll come to us instead of going to our competitors for their birthday celebration, for their company's events, and so on and so forth. So that's success to me.